Hello, welcome to part 5 of the Zero playthrough in Mega Man X4. When we last left off, we just reached the end of Cyber Peacock stage. So, uh, let's go take out that piece of cock. <laughs> I'm sorry. That was completely spontaneous. I don't know where that joke came from, and I apologize for its lack of... Its lack of... Something. <laughs> Jesus. I'm impressed you made it this far, but you can't beat me! Get ready! Now, Cyber Peacock, if you were X, you would use the Soul Body technique you got from Split Mushroom. With Zero, it's the complete opposite. You have to use Magma Dragoon's Fire Weapon. The reason I didn't take Cyber Peacock on after taking on Magma Dragoon is because I wanted to get the S rank races, and the only way I was going to make that easy for me was to get Split Mushroom's weapon so I could double jump and use the spiraling sword swiping attack to get through the yellow orbs that pass through the level. Otherwise, if you beat Magma Dragoon first, you can defeat Cyber Peacock with a very special weapon. He loves to teleport right into you wherever he... wherever you usually are, and uh, if you just dash all over the place, you should avoid his attacks pretty good. Cyber Peacock... He ain't too much problem. Fuck, I always do that. I have this habit where I always say, he ain't too much problem. I don't know what's happening here. <laughs> Jesus. Nevertheless, we learned Raku Huwaya. Uh, basically, Zero can do this special attack where he punches the ground and this he just creates a flurry of blue energy balls to fly out of that ground he punched. And it will attack pretty much everything on screen. It's very powerful. But you only get, like, five tries. So, uh, use it wisely. And save it for our next and last Maverick, Storm Owl. I think Storm Owl is supposed to be some kind of distant cousin of Storm Eagle from the original Mega Man X. But, uh, I don't know about that. Nevertheless, uh... We get a ride armor here, the flying, shooting ride armor. It's good for using projectiles, good for gliding all over the place. And it's, uh, it's swell. Up that ladder, I never bothered to show you. I think it leads to an energy pellet or something. It, le it really leads to nothing of, an, of any value. So, uh, there's no point to that ladder. There's the energy tank, grab it before the laser destroys the ship. And, uh, yeah. If you want to glide with the mech armor, you have to do push the dash button, and it will then hover across the place for a short period of time. I never u usually hover with it. I just like to use it like it's a regular mech armor, but you know. Oh, that jumping spiral move is so goddamn godly. Not only does it attack mostly everything in Zero's vicinity, it always attacks them for like more than one hit, you know? Because it's going around, you're hitting them like multiple times when you do it. It's like the ultimate move. Zero is a fucking badass, what can I say? I've said this a million times, but he is. He's a fucking badass. If I were gay, I would have sex with Zero. Well, he is a robot, so I don't think that would make sense. But, you know. I'd enjoy it. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. Anywho, the turret, it opens up. When it's open, you just attack the hell out of it. Since it's so easy to dispose of the mini turrets that are flying around, this isn't really much of a sub-boss at all. If you even get hit, well, shame on you. Shame on you for getting hit. It's impossible to get hit. Come on. And we're already at Storm Owl. That didn't take long, did it? When you don't have a Dr. Light capsule to look over, yeah, the levels go by pretty damn quickly. Why did you judge us as Mavericks? Wait! Stop the coup! No! We're justified in doing this! Alright, Owl. If you won't go quietly, you'll go dead. <laughs> so basically, for the first five attacks, you want to spawn the Giga Smash thing that we got from Cyber Peacock. There's no way he can avoid it, not usually anyway. And it doesn't do that much damage to him, but, uh, you know. Take what you can get. And when you run out of the Giga Crash, just keep doing the jumping spin dash move into him. 
and it should waste his health down pretty damn quickly. I got lucky, he tried to do these green energy pellet attacks, so he stayed in that one spot forever. Usually he'll fly across the room, or... Well, he won't stand there for too long, usually, anyway. And by defeating him, we learn Tenkuhua! Basically, we get an enhanced Z Saber. Apparently we can cut energy shots with our Saber. I didn't realize we couldn't before, but oh well. Got the forces at the Space Harbor! I have to go. No, please wait, Zero! I don't want to see you two fight! Someone has to stop your brother! I'm leaving. Alright, it's time for Endgame. We're going to the Spaceport after we go to Frost Walrus' stage. In the X playthrough, I mentioned there was a great place for uh, getting your sub-tanks filled, but I never mentioned where that was, and I completely forgot about it. This is the area. When you start the level, go up the higher cliff, and you'll find tons upon tons of energy pellets. Also, that's how you get the X tank with zero. Anyway, folks, we're heading to the spaceport to take out Colonel. Once and for all. I shall take this time to mention that uh, there is actually two cheats you can, un you can input in the beginning of the game. You can find them at game facts or whatever, I don't know what the cheats are. But basically, if the character selects screen, you do an, a button combination, and the next time you go to a Dr. Light capsule, even if you're zero, you can find a Dr. Light capsule, you can unlock either the ultimate armor for X, which gives him this infinite giga attack, which pretty much cheats the game. Basically, you can keep doing this giga attack and just run into the enemies constantly, and they can't hurt you when you're doing the attack, and it hurts them for mega damage, and you can spawn it infinitely, and it makes the fight so fucking easy. If you want to cheat the way, that's there, that way. And Zero gets the black armor Zero. It basically turns Zero's armor black, makes his hair a little bit more white, and uh, his, de his defense is through the roof. But those are cheats and you can't get them normally any other way. So uh, I didn't really get it, and uh, if you want to see it, well then play Mega Man X4. <laughs> I don't want to fight. Step back. I'm sorry. I can't let you through. Iris will be sad if she loses you. Don't be so presumptuous, Zero. Save it until after you've defeated me. Show me what you've got. Alright, folks. Colonel is still faster than he was. Never. <laughs> I keep forgetting that this isn't the X playthrough and you didn't fight him midway through the game. Nevertheless, Colonel can be a bit of a pain in the ass with his super speed. Zero's double jumping ability makes dodging his little blue energy slashes a lot easier than it is with X. Double jumping is fucking swell. As I mentioned in an earlier part, I know his weakness is, is the frost weapon, at least now I know, thanks to you people who comment on my vids. You guys rock. And I suck because I just died. <laughs> I got cocky, what can I say? I always get cocky. I feel like, eh, I don't need a sub tank. But then I die. But I recorded this before I knew about the frost weakness, so I didn't really use it. Otherwise, Colonel's pretty damn simple. When he disappears and reappears in front of you, all you have to do is jump back, and uh, you'll miss him most of the time. The blue energy swipes, fairly easy to dodge, and the lightning, when you know where to stand and where to jump, pretty damn easy as well. The Colonel shouldn't give you a run for your money. He's a little bit tough, but he's not like... Oh my god, hardest fucking boss in the whole game. He's pretty simple when you get his pattern down. It's a shame, I have to kill my girlfriend's brother. But uh, he started it. He could have just, you know, left Repliforce, but no. He had to be all prideful and fight me. Impressive Zero, but it's too late. What? Repliforce is left for the space. Even if I perish, Repliforce lives. Colonel. Zero, tell Iris that her brother died happily. Goodbye, Zero. Gerda! I don't think she'll take the news well. <laughs> See you in part six.